guys, my name is Jenna Morrison and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This one's a little different angle. I'm trying out the angle that I was talking about for the braiding video. But today is not braiding. I have updated how I take my makeup off. And as you can see, I've got some on. So I will be showing you how I take my makeup off. And I am so sorry about that glare right there. Mm. Nah, I can't find it. There. Um, it's going to be a little different for me because the sink is right there. And I won't be turning around showing you what I'm doing. But first things first. Got to get the hair out of the face. Okay. So I have a couple different things that I use. Um, the first thing I always use is this Equate Beauty Clarifying Pink Grapefruit, Pink Grapefruit Body Wash with salicylic acid in it. And I've got it turned over like this so it's easier to get out because I do use it with a knockoff version of like the Mia 2 from Clarisonic. And then after that, because I don't usually get close to my eyes with it, I've got my Garnier Micellar Water. And if I really get irritated with turning around, I'm probably going to move you. <laughs> so just in case all you see is like this area, that's what I'm doing is I'm moving you. But um, next I use Garnier Micellar Water to get any eye makeup off that is still there. After that, I tone my face with some Clear Proof um, bo uh, Blemish Control Toner by Mary Kay. I probably won't be using this tonight because I used it yesterday. And then last, I use some of my different gel. And I can already tell you I'm going to get irritated with this, so let's just go ahead and move you now. And let's see if you can see. Nope, give me a second. I just need something tall enough to sit you on so I can at least angle my um, my laptop up and you can see what I'm doing. So first things first, I leave the water running the whole time I'm using this brush. So I will talk you through it, but you might not be able to hear me so well, but I'll be try, like I'll try to be loud. So one thing you'll notice is I will change the head of the brush. The, this one is the regular head. It is really hard. And this one is the uh, sensitive skin head and as you can see it just kind of crushes and on some parts of my face I have to have both of them or I have to have one or the other so that is why you'll see me change the brush head right. so first thing I do is I put in the regular head and I usually wet it this is a lot more difficult to talk you through. And I will just put a small, I'm going to call it like a dime shaped dollop on the brush. I'll run that back under the water. 
and I'll just turn it on. Now, usually when I do this, I go all the way up to my hairline because I usually put my foundation in my hair. And I know that sounds a little weird hearing me say that. Let me explain. Most people who don't put their foundation in their hair have a very defined line where their foundation is not at. I'm trying to be careful around my eyes because I did accidentally spray some in my eyes yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, I uploaded the pictures of this look and the picture of the look from yesterday just a few minutes ago. And I say just a few minutes ago because this is going up on Thursday and it is currently Wednesday. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you can really see it that well, but this was white. Remember, this was this color. So that is all the makeup that has come off of my face. And it's not even half gone. So... I usually rinse it off, put it back on, and keep going. I'm doing this a little differently today because usually I do this right before I get in the shower, so obviously I won't I wouldn't usually have like a shirt on. Or sometimes I'm like wrapped in a towel doing it. Only downfall with using this is once the water and the solvent from that body wash mix it starts dripping off my face so usually I will take my hands and I will just go underneath my neck and rub it forward And I'll like wipe it off like that. You can see my hands look like really, really nasty right now. Today is a little more intense to take off because today we used a color correcting primer. That color correcting primer, before any of the foundation or anything like that went on. Okay, so this is how it looked. I had my eyebrows and my eyes done. And then she used that primer, or and then she used primer, the color correcting primer, and then put foundation on. So when she blended it out, one of the girls saw how it looked and she busted out laughing. Because I 100% looked like I just stepped off the set of Shrek because it is that shade of green and it was blended all over my face. All right, so this is the sensitive skin head. And I'm pretty much just going over the whole area again. And then after this, I usually um, wipe my face off. And I have not done anything with my brows or my eyes yet. That is because I use the micellar water for my brows and eyes. Right, so let's grab that towel. This towel usually looks really terrible when I wipe my face off. 
but today it doesn't look that bad. And I can tell you all the layers of my makeup that were there are gone. So we're gonna turn the water off and swap to my cellar. Um, like I said, I probably won't do the toner today because it burnt me yesterday. And I had to wait about 15 to 20 minutes to actually go back and use my different So today we're probably just going to finish taking off the makeup and instead of using the toner just go straight to the different. So I'm turned like this because I need to see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is just taking it and going just like that across. Usually it does get in my eye so my eye turn. Uh, I might turn a little red like it is right now. That's all I do when my eye starts burning. So I look okay right now, but I still have found it or not foundation, but I look okay right now, but I still have mascara on, is what I'm trying to say. So I just. Mm. There's the mascara. Alright, let me wipe my face off again. And usually when I do that, mm -hmm. instead of it all being on this towel. I go across it and there's usually smears of where my mascara was on my cheek right here and it kind of makes me look like the way I can describe it is if somebody's ever watched sports or been on a sports team where they have to have the black tape right here to deflect the sun that's what it reminds me of so, just letting you know, it didn't do it today on this side anyway, because we haven't tried the other one. But it has not done it yet. So it may or may not do it. Next, I'm just going to do the same thing. Get a brand new cotton ball. And I load the sucker down with this stuff. Which is probably why it drips down my face. <laughs> and if you can't tell, look at that. That is just what came out of my eyebrow and right here. So, as you can see, it is taking it off really well. Which is what I love about my micellar water. Now, everybody knows that is female and wears makeup. When you do your makeup, 90% of the time, the eyeshadow you use has what we call fallout. For you males that don't know what that is, fallout is just where... The little flakes of eyeshadow didn't stick to your upper lids, so they have fallen down underneath your eye, right in this area. Today, since we had such dark eyeshadow on me, because it was green and blue and like a bronze color, um, since we had such a dark color on me, when she showed me what I looked like before we got rid of the fallout, I looked like she had punched me in the face. 
because there was the green on top of the lid and right underneath my eyelashes where it looked like she had hit me. Now, most of the time for a quick fix, when I am just that tired and I don't feel like going through this whole process, I do have makeup remover wipes. I do not, I do not like using makeup remover wipes because it's difficult for me to find makeup remover wipes that actually don't burn. And I don't know what it is, what it might be in there that is burning my skin. But it is. And so I particularly don't like using makeup remover wipes. I'm just going up to the big mirror because I see there's a little bit where I've been wiping that decided it wanted to keep me. I rip that thing open every time. For those of you that are wondering what that, what that meant, I have a bump right there. That has burst, but every time I am doing something that is um, like vigorously going across my face, the scab comes off of it and it rips open again. And the only the only thing I can do is just let it bleed. So. I have ripped it open yet again, but that's okay because we are almost done. Um, all I have left to do is primer if I was, or not primer, toner if I was doing it. And then just a little bit. That's all I need for my entire face. This is, I think they called it a three month supply. My sister has a one month supply that is smaller. Well, it's much smaller. It's um, probably about that big. So, I use that, I know every time I wear makeup, I probably shouldn't use it that much, but, um, that is the way I take off my makeup now. It's kind of an updated video because the one that I have on here already is the old way and I have since run out of both sets of those makeup wipes so I'm just using well today I bought some elf makeup wipes but I have just been using this regimen to take my makeup off and sometimes I'll use like an equate like knockoff version of a baby wipe but aside from that, that is it. That is how I take my makeup off, guys. And usually I don't wear this headband. I just wore this headband for the sake of y'all being able to see what I was doing. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.